Oh, hey mate, you don't know which way spoons is, do you? Hello? Are you lost for words? Doesn't say a lot, does he? I'm actually in my hometown of Mansfield today. I'm not going far and boy oh boy is it windy and the weather's very, very cold. So, I'm off to Weatherspoons. Now, we do have two Weatherspoons here in Mansfield at the moment. I believe one of them's closing down though, uh, which is the, uh, it's the grotty one actually. It's the one that I gave a bad review to. I hope it was nothing to do with uh, my video that uh, helped it close down. But, but it was awful. You had to literally clean the tables yourself. We took Angie in there and Angie had to clean the table. I think it was uh, Widow Frost, but we're not going to that one today. We're going to the other one around the corner uh, because Weatherspoons have got a new menu on. That's right, a brand new menu and I'm super excited. I'm gonna say super excited today because they've got Naga Chili Burger, which is like a really, really hot burger and apparently it burns your head off and your head will blow off as soon as you eat it. They've got some other burgers as well uh, and they've also got a katsu curry. Now we're going to leave the katsu curry because um, Ange, the blonde angel, said I want to try the katsu curry. Did I do a voice all right? Did I do your voice all right? I want to try the katsu curry. So I said, right, well, we'll leave that one. I said, you don't want to try the, uh, the red hot burger? She says, no thanks. She says, I'll be in the loo all night. She'll probably kill me for saying that. So we're going to go and try the Naga Chili Red Hot Burger or whatever it's called. Have a quick look at their brand new menu. Uh, we're going to mark it out of 10. I want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well on looks alone and on cost. Uh, I wonder whether the prices have gone up. New menus normally mean prices have gone up. You've all seen it at your local Chinese restaurant. Oh, we've got a new menu. That means the prices have gone up. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, I'm going to hold this camera down because it is windy. And then do hit the subscribe button, click the little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Do you want to say let's go? No, I'll do it. Let's go. fond memories of Mansfield and from my childhood and especially Mansfield Market. I used to come down here every Saturday uh, with my dad. My mum used to be working. We'd have a wander around to the radio rental store and have a look at the TVs in there and uh, what was the other one? I got, uh, but, uh, there was another one. There was Baskills and then there was Rumbelows I think it was as well. Rumbelows, that's right. How do you keep popping up all over the place? Because I'm on videotape. Ah. Yes. First I'm here, then I'm here. So you were. Rumbelows, we save you money and serve you right. And we'd look in all the electrical stores, I'd get him to buy a new TV or whatever, or look at the new TVs. He was always in that, then we'd go down to Cameo cameras down there. And uh, those, crikey, those were the days. Um, and Mansfield Market was bustling at the time. But now it's literally a shadow of its former self. And it's, it's quite sad really in a way, because if you, there's, I can see the reasons why and it, there's one main reason and I will say it and it's Mansfield District Council. They literally have no idea and are basically stupid uh, with the decisions that they make and uh, as goes with a lot of local councils as well, I've said it before, uh, you know, they, they, you can see the councillors, they wear their beige suits and their their old brown shoes and they'll go ooh, tip backwards and forwards on the feet and go oh, council rules oh can't do that council rules and basically the council rules are stupid basically and put businesses out of business and uh, they just keep putting the rents up but and banning the traffic in the town centre as well uh, which just moves people away and it leaves town centres like this a shadow of them for former selves. I don't want to get political, but you know, um, it just I feel quite strongly about it because I think uh, I think we should bring back a lot of business into the town centres and local businesses. But that's my rant over with anyway. Come on, let's get to weather spoons or spoons. Oh, 
right, I'll tell you what, I don't know, probably, it's probably because it's a bit of a grey day and it's a Wednesday, which I think is half day closing Wednesday in, a, in Mansfield, but you know, it is literally a shadow of its former self and it, it just, I feel quite strongly about it because it's my hometown and you can see, you can see what the problems are. You've got traffic wardens going around here basically giving tickets on cars trying to make money for the council and it's just logic give free parking get people back into the town get more people in the shops it's not rocket science but you know these councillors and i've worked for mansfield district council before i used to do a lot of their graphic design and i've seen inside mansfield district council and they clock in at nine they clock out at five you know they go for their make sure that they have their 15 minutes break you know union rules and all that um and it's just dated it's a dated way of thinking and you know they're there in the their beige suits or whatever and their ties not fastened up properly you know stereotypical uh, council worker uh, anyway <laughs> if you're a council worker don't clip me around the ear or when you see me in Mansfield um, I, I'm having a bit of a rant I'm off on a bit of a rant wow it is windy today uh, but we're going to go to the stag and pheasant and I know you're going to say that's the reason why a lot of them pubs are closed down because you've got weather spoons and it is unfortunately because they can't keep up with the likes of Weatherspoons prices, etc. But it would be interesting though, it will be interesting to see if Weatherspoons have put their prices up on their new menu because it we all know new menu means higher prices. It always does, like I say, with the Chinese restaurants. New menu, sir, yeah, more it means you put your prices up by added a quid onto everything, haven't you? Hey, and we know what you do. We know what you're doing when you get new menus. Come on, onwards. Right, just a minute. So, I've just bumped into Ian and Wendy, who's from Nottingham here. There we go, you've had the katsu curry, haven't you? We've had the katsu curry, yeah. Yeah, and they went, they went, hey, it's here. And they watched the video. They, I said, what are you doing here? They said, we've come to find you. <laughs> <laughs> so they've come to Nottingham, you've bumped into me, you've found me in yeah. weather spoons. You're gonna find me in a spoon sooner or later, aren't you? So, yeah, what do you think to the katsu curry then? Get, give it nine out of 10. Yeah. Um, of the the breaded uh, chicken, yeah, because you get the, the the softness and the moistness of the chicken, but the crunch of the crumb. But I couldn't taste any coconut in the rice. Oh, oof. now that's controversial. That is that is controversial. There we go. So nine out of ten there. That's a good score. There we go. So hey, tell them to subscribe. 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 And the details are down below. There you go. You've heard them. Right, well, I'm fairly busy in here. Uh, I've got myself a table. Uh, it's not cleared at the moment, so I'm going to wait and see whether anyone comes over and clears it. Uh, I'll give them a chance. I'll give them a few minutes, uh, and we shall see. Or uh, is it uh, one of those where you have to... Uh, oh, new menu. Nice new menu as well. Look at that. There we go. Shame we've not got Angie. I could just get her to clean the table, get the spray, clean the table, move the pots. Anyway, while we're waiting, take a closer look at the menu, my friends.
Right, okay, so there's the new menu. As you can see on there, we've got uh, some different things. Still waiting for the table to be cleared. Uh, I don't know whether it's self-service, self-clear. Uh, bit of sarcasm there. Uh, if you're watching manager, come on, chop, chop. Let's uh, get things moving here and get the tables cleaned. It does annoy me. Uh, you see me come in, move the tables, clear the stuff. Um, right, so we've got uh, new burgers here as well. New. Uh, three ounce beef burgers there, uh, new six ounce beef burgers uh, and uh, we've also got on here the katsu chicken curry which we're going to try another day with Ange, uh, the katsu grilled chicken curry and the katsu corn nuggets curry uh, on there as well. We've also got the chicken wing basket which is new and the heat wave burger which is what we're going to try today which is the naga chili mayo American style cheese hash brown uh, topped with a spicy chicken wing. Um, it says choose from grilled chicken brown or fried buttermilk chicken. Might go for the fried buttermilk chicken uh, on it as well. We've also got uh, pub classics. Ooh, new it says, steak and kidney pudding. I might have to try that when uh, I come along with Ange uh, to do the katsu curry. they have got bangers and mash as well. Uh, and vegetarian bangers and mash on there as well. We've also got grilled halloumi style cheese and roasted vegetable salad and the burrito salad bowl there new as well. Uh, we're going to be trying all these so if you are new to the channel do hit the subscribe button uh, because I will be coming back and trying all these. Now uh, I think I'll uh, go and ask him to go and move this stuff off the table because it's not getting moved is it? Right, so I've ordered, I probably was being a bit impatient actually because uh, they're very friendly uh, and the gentleman came over and cleared up. He says, sorry, we've been really busy. So I'm off on one today, I'm off on one. Anyway, I've ordered, it comes to £8.55. Uh, I could have upgraded to a larger uh, Diet Coke, but I didn't. Uh, and I've gone for the buttermilk chicken as well. So uh, I, I'm gonna say I'm looking forward to this, but it has got, um, it's got quite a few chilies on there. And it's not called Heat Wave Burger for nothing. Uh, so, um, mm, and you know me. If you're new, if you're not new to the channel and you're a regular, you'll know I'm a bit of a, a little bit of a chilly wuss. I have to say. Anyway, I'll say I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> it's it's a new new menu. Cheers. <laughs> Right, well I've got to say, first impressions, uh, it looks actually quite nice. Got some onion rings on there as well, I've moved one. Um, we've got the chips on there, uh, and I went for the buttermilk chicken now. Uh, let me find it on here. Here we go, the heat wave burger. Um, so, uh, it's Naga, Ch Naga chili mayo, American style cheese, hash brown. We've got a hash brown under there. Yep, there we go, hash brown under there. Uh, we've also got, uh, it's topped with a chicken wing there, and I had um, fried buttermilk chicken. So before we go any further, my friends, take a closer look. Right, so we've got the, uh, the brioche bun, uh, which I like a brioche bun actually. I'm going to take the chicken wing, I'm going to deconstruct it to make it a little easier to eat. I'm going for the chicken wing first. Nice tender chicken there on the bone. Very nice, we'll come back for that. Let's get into this burger. So. Without getting messy, we've got the naga chili mayo on there. Got a tomato on there as well. Got your chicken, got your hash brown. Let's take that little steak out of there. So under there you've got your hash brown, your chicken, your American cheese, 
tomato, some lettuce, some onion on there as well. That's going for this bite. Wow, it's quite big. I'm not sure my mouth's big enough. Wow. That is very tasty. Straight off the bat. Beautiful. Wow. Bursting with flavour. Here comes the kick of the chilli. That has got a bit of a kick to it. I think that's the actual mayo. Wow, that is a tasty burger. Mm-hmm. This is a tasty burger. I was expecting it to be. I'm gonna blow my head off. It'd be really painful, but it's not. It's got a very strong kick, but at the same time bearable. Absolutely love it. Look at that, it's just beautiful. Right, I'm gonna eat this. Come back to you, going for an onion ring as well. I'm gonna say, that is a very, very tasty burger. Mmm. Wow. Bursting with flavour. I'll see you guys in a minute. Oh, wow. Wow, right, I can sum this up now. Don't need to do this outside. Let's take a quick drink. Don't worry, I'm gonna eat my chicken and my chips and my onion rings after I've summed this up. Right, I've gotta tell you, that was phenomenal, really. Heatwave burger, absolutely fantastic. And for eight pound 55, that was really filling and I haven't even finished my, my onion rings, my chicken and my chips yet. The burger itself, the chicken was tender, it was succulent, the, the cheese on it came through, American cheese, just a slice of cheese but it did add to it. Um, I liked the raw onion on it, the lettuce was fresh, um, the brioche bun was beautiful, um, I liked the hash brown on it actually. Bit, strange adding a, a it, I wouldn't have put a hash brown with it with the chicken but oh man the buttermilk chicken beautiful everything about that burger it was uh, it was bursting with flavor it wasn't too hot that it was unbearable but it does give you a nice burn on the old lips a little bit of afterburn um, but not too much <laughs> not that kind of afterburn uh, I'm gonna say thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed that for me I think that is one, I'm gonna say it's one of the one of the tastiest burgers that I've had it was thoroughly enjoyable I'm, I'm blown away uh, by a, a Weatherspoons burger um, fantastic um, this is a great Weatherspoons by the way I think I was a little bit um, a little bit uh, in, in, in a bit of a what was the word? A bit, mm, well, one of them kind of moods when I first came in. It's like, quick, clear the table. I want it done straight away. Absolutely fantastic. Staff here, staff here are great. The food was fantastic. The only thing I'd probably change is this bloody plate. I don't know what is it with weather spoons. When I got married years ago, we, we asked for Bristol Blue uh, crockery. Uh, for our wedding presents uh, from I think it was British Home Stores back then and it was like this and it's just good grief just give us white plates or something uh, other than that though fantastic I'm gonna give that a 
I'm gonna give it a 10 because it was price-wise excellent and it was god it was tasty I could eat that again as my dad used to say that there we go so that's the idiot wave burger off the new menu make sure you hit the subscribe button because I want to come back and try some of the other stuff if you're new to the channel do hit the subscribe button click that little bell you know the score and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye wow Mmm. Sorry, I'm back again. Uh, but the ladies just come over to get my plate, and I've got to say, credit where credit's due. Very, very, very friendly staff in here. Uh, so whoever is the manager is doing things right. Uh, as I say, I was a bit impatient. She did say to me, <coughs> however, that they've sold hundreds of them today uh, and they've gone down really really well so I, i've got to say i really was impressed by it absolutely fantastic top marks